So here at EFA 2019, Huawei had a lot of announcements to drop. They announced some new P30 Pro colors and some other things, but probably the most exciting part of their announcement was the Kirin 990 processor. Now this is the follow-up processor to the Kirin 980 that we saw last year in devices like the Huawei Mate 20 Pro and the recent Huawei P30 Pro, but the new Kirin 990 is going to go in the Huawei Mate 30 Pro as well as other devices, and it's got a lot of improvements. So I just want to take you through the top five improvements in the Kirin 990 processor so that you're better informed when you buy a phone with this chip. Now number one, and probably most interestingly, this is a 5G ready chip, but it also has the 5G modem baked right into the SFC. And this is interesting because most processors need a separate 5G modem to work. And because it's baked into the SOC, it saves about 36% of the room that is normally used for that separate modem. This means it's also more power efficient, which is nice, but this chip doesn't have millimeter wave 5G technology. So you're gonna get sub six gigahertz frequencies on this chip, but if you want to get millimeter wave, Huawei does have the Balong 5000 modem that is separate and probably could go on some other phones, but most of the markets that Huawei is shipping phones with this chip in is probably not going to have millimeter wave technology anyway, so it's probably not that important to them. Huawei is making a 4G version of this chip as well, but their flagship is definitely the 5G version. Now number two is all these CPU cores are faster across the board. Now these are the same CPU cores that we saw in the Kirin 980. And Huawei says that it's not going to use that much more power than the Kirin 980, but they say that it's about 10% faster than the Snapdragon 855. So we're definitely going to have to put these chips through our benchmarking once we get the unit in for review. Number three, Huawei is trying to make their GPUs better and faster, but they actually downclocked them in the Kirin 990. Now they use 600 megahertz instead of 720, but they're actually 16 GPU cores instead of just 10. And Huawei says that you're going to get a 6% improvement in GPU performance out of this chip. So that's really nice to see if you want to game or have any other GPU intensive tasks. Number four, there is a new NPU in this chip. And if you don't know what that is, it's called a neural processing unit. Effectively, this is like an AI portion of the chip where all of those workloads go towards so it can process it discreetly. And it is used for things like face unlock, fingerprint unlock, and all those things that are going to use a lot of machine learning to be able to make it work better. Now in the 5G version of the chip, Huawei is using two big NPU cores, and they say that it's got about 1.88 times better performance than it did in the Kirin 980. Theoretically, this means that AI-based tasks like face unlock should work a lot faster and be more secure, so I'm really excited to see that in upcoming devices. And last but not least, there is a newly designed ISP or image signal processor for the camera. And while I really wanted to focus on noise reduction in this so that you could get better low light performance, they said that the new ISP does 30% better in noise reduction in photos and 20% better in video. So the Huawei P30 Pro already had insanely good low light photo and video capabilities, but this should make it even better. The new ISP is also going to support up to 64 megapixel cameras, so we're not going to see the 102 megapixel sensor get put into this device, but Huawei uses a lot bigger sensors anyway than traditional smartphones, so the image quality is probably going to be better anyway. So that's been about it for the top five things that you need to know about the Kirin 990. We've got an article over androidauthority.com by our very own Robert Triggs that really breaks down this chip in detail, so head over there to read it if you want to learn more. And I'll catch you in the next video.